this isn't MoClip to Motion Builder tutorial. Thank you for watching. So uh, in order to use MoClip with Motion Builder, you need to go uh, to uh, MoClip.com and download MoClip for uh, your Windows version. And then uh, in the zip archive that you will download, you will see uh, two Motion Builder plugins, uh, one for 2010, one for 2011, which you will need to put into your bin folder uh, of uh, Motion Builder. So here, if I go to Motion Builder and then I go bin x64 and then down here at uh, plugins, sorry, and then you you can see uh, the plugin is over there. So when I open Motion Builder, I can see it, uh, it's automatically loaded because I have a MoClip menu over here in the corner. So this is a scene. Uh, this is a, a a scene of an helicopter crashing in a house. And uh, what we will want to do is we will want to put a character here on the on the porch and uh, and uh, jump off uh, to avoid the helicopter. So what I'll do is I need to bring in a character. Now the first, uh, I'm going to use a trick here. So usually you would just bring a character that was characterized with a, a character uh, constraint. But since I have a character that has been done using um, using a, a, an ultimate rig. I can simply go and import uh, my uh, my um, my skeleton, so it's an an, I, uh, an FK skeleton. So I'm gonna bring in Ian, and then my character's gonna pop in my scene. All right, so this, this is just a plain FK skeleton, and um, and now I need to to uh, open MoClip, and I'll just bring in a character. And then I'll start. I'll start thinking about what I want this character to be doing in this scene. So, first thing that is important to understand is that the the, the character proportion is quite important. So, in order to have my mo clip uh, uh, character the same size as my Ian character in my scene, I need to export the character proportion from this character onto mo clip. So now I'll simply go into Motion Builder and go to the mo the mo clip menu and say export character proportion. Now. It knows exactly which character it will export because it, the active character is set to be uh, my, my, my only character in the scene. So now I'm going to just uh, double click Ian and now the proportion has been exported. So I'll go back into MoClip, double click the character, say load character proportion. And then you load that same file and now you see that the character is all scaled up with, uh, with proper values in all the different limbs so that uh, when you click the interrupt button, now you have uh, the characters that are matching in size. Um, so now what we want to do is to uh, go to the search tab and search for a, uh, a proper uh, a proper uh, animation. So here I'll have the character jumping off as the as the helicopter is coming into the, crashing into the house. So I'll use run boom. All right. Now I'm going to take this animation file. Uh, sorry, the, this clip. And then I'll go and place it in the scene. Okay, and just bring it up so it fits on the balcony. All right. And now what I want to do is to uh, add another clip in there, which we'll we'll, we'll call it uh, dash. And then I'll I need to add the dash at the beginning of of this clip so it runs a little bit and then jump off. So here I'm gonna just time everything. I'll select the clip. Go at the bottom uh, in the property uh, tab, and then I see that uh, I want the character to jump off a little later. So, um, so I'll move that to be around. All right, six is good enough. Okay, and now um, that created an offset uh, at the beginning of the track here. Now, if you click on the character, you can see that. Um, the character pivot point is at the center of the world, and then the first clip pivot point is uh, located over here in space. So uh, when you add a new a new um, a new animation clip, it adds it uh, when the first clip adds it at the origin of the character. So if I would drag this in, it would uh, it would add the clip over here. That's not what I want. So you can right click on the character and say snap pivot to first clip, and now the pivot is moved to the first clip. And now when I click drag. The, the animation, the, the, the automatic blending is correctly computed. So here, if we look at it, so it dash and then run off like that and then jump down. So I'll just fix the blending a little bit. Um, going like that.
like that. Excellent. And now when he falls on the ground, he falls uh, away from the... Because there is um, some height over here, here I want to fix this. So I'll, I'll use Alt and press down twice in order to go to the end manipulator. And then I'll move the, the ending uh, down on the floor. And then all I have to do is change the weighting of uh, uh, the blending between uh, the start and end. So uh, here I'll just uh, put in like this. That, that should be good enough. All right, so now it's going to jump and then fall down on the ground exactly like I intended. Okay, so now that we have this, I want to add another another clip in there. So let's say I'm going to... I'm gonna type in a uh, roll and then I'm gonna use a run roll here so that when he falls he doesn't die on the ground but rather uh, uh, roll and, and then oops activate the character and, and then uh, keeps on walking so here what I'll do is I'll simply go and select where the feet of the character are going off the ground like around here and then I'll do the same thing on on my run boom so about here and then I'll blend the two clips together like such now the intelligent blending is giving me a decent solution I'm gonna just put a little bit, little bit more blend in there alright And now, okay, I'm going to remove a little bit of uh, run boom, and then there you go. That should work a little bit better. Okay, so now that we're all set and we have an animation that we like and we, we adjusted the, the blending and everything, we can go back in the motion builder, look at the result. Okay, maybe fix a tiny bit. Uh, uh, where the character is running towards. Uh, there you go. Okay. And now what we want is we want to, uh, to process this, ani this animation in order to get the animation from the MoClip server. So uh, what we'll do is we'll save that scene. And then uh, we'll go to our, our account tab and say uh, submit animation. And then I'll be, uh, I can see exactly how many uh, this will cost me and just check out. And then when I confirm my order, the server will um, take the, the animation, process it, and send it back to me. I'll be notified in real time when uh, the animation will be ready. So uh, we only have to wait uh, a few seconds before it get, it's ready. There you go. It took about a... Uh, a minute maybe to process so I can just uh, click on that balloon and it's going to refresh or I can just press F5 in the browser view and then I can simply click on that file and then save it locally so I'll just save that to uh, to my uh, desktop alright and now I can simply uh, delete that file from uh, from my file listing if I, if I don't need it anymore and now we'll go in the desktop so let's just these are old ones Let's just re-extract the new one. And now uh, you have the NRM file, which is uh, the original uh, MoClip file. And you have the demo uh, Ian result scene, which is the result scene of what I've just created. So I'll go into Motion Builder, and I'll say MoClip, import MoClip animation. And I'll simply need to go on my desktop and get it uh, from there. So what the tool is going to do, uh, it will take the take the skeleton and automatically characterize it so it works right away so uh, so then I'll, uh, you can see here if we look at the result you can see that it's perfectly matching now don't worry about the refresh uh, display here um, motion builder is showing the geometry before calculating the rig so but it's actually uh, in sync so uh, so now I'll just go uh, and turn off the interoperability and then here I simply need to select my master character and say uh, input character, MoClip master character. And now you see that it's being retargeted exactly like I need it onto, um, onto my scene, onto my character. There you go. So now 
what I can do is simply go and uh, plot the character to, let's say, the control rig. And then I can uh, keyframe on top of the animation with animation layers like I wanted. Uh, and then I can wrap up the shot. So if you need any more help, just go to MoClip uh, Help and Tutorial. And then in there, you can uh, you can simply go to the uh, Motion Builder plugin Help. And so this help is pretty extensive, so just go through it if you need more help. Uh, and if you need even more, you can go to our discussion forum to, uh, to ask the community for... Uh, for whatever you need. Uh, thank you for watching.